guys happy Sunday and welcome to my channel if you are new oh my god welcome it's a pleasure to have you so as you know on this channel sustainability matters it means that we embrace imperfect sustainability and here are some ways in which you can be imperfectly sustainable we focus on natural fibers which means we embrace fabric fit and style and today you are going to learn how I have incorporated this mantra into my life and the effect that it has on my spending habits as well as my wardrobe composition so this as you have seen from the title is a Zara haul and I have a few items that I absolutely were attracted to when I saw them one especially was interesting in that it's a bestseller and I was curious about why it is a bestseller so let's just get into it the first item that I got I initially was very interested in this when it was at the regular price and it's this gorgeous dress I am often very excited when I find something that I love and that I know would fit right into my wardrobe so I would twirl I would dance <laughs> Because, yeah, I'm excited about this piece. Okay, let me button it up so that you could actually see the real effect of this particular piece. It's me written all over it. If you know my style pretty well, off shoulder, neckline, the collotage, <laughs> buttons, puff sleeve, it's absolutely stunning. It's a midi dress, it has a split right at the center right here. It has some ruching detail, smocking details at the back. And guys, the gorgeous ruching, as you guys know, I love ruching. And it adds so much detail to this particular piece that I was in love as soon as I saw this piece. And you know, I, I, am not a, I am not afraid of colors. I am from the Caribbean, just in case you don't remember. We love colors. explanation for it but I know this Caribbean woman she loves colors and so this piece was definitely right up my alley so in terms of fabric fit and style this piece really really check all the boxes fabric a hundred percent Linen. Guys, linen is one of the most sustainable fibers ever. And I love it. And I would incorporate it any day, as I've mentioned. 
in my wardrobe. So, fabric, check. Fit. Oh my God, absolutely gorgeous fit. Love it. And of course, style. It's what I love. That's my style. <laughs> Along with high-waisted pants, you know the drill. So, guys, this particular piece, it checks all the boxes, so it's definitely a keeper in my wardrobe, as well as the fact that it was reduced from $79.99 to $39.99. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that was a deal. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys, if you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys, if you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. I'm a sucker for belts. Okay, excuse the word sucker, but you know what I mean. I love belts. It's one of my favorite accessories. I find that belts just upgrade an outfit to about a million notches. Honestly, guys. If you have a bland or a black looking outfit, you just add a belt to it and Bob, Tommy, Smith, they are your uncles. It's a no brainer. And I'll just show you a quick example. Look. right into my wardrobe you guys know I have the black um, very similar to it but what I love it's oh it's the brassy detail of the buckle and look at the rectangular looking um, buckle guys and it's wide it's wide <laughs> yes definitely a great addition to my wardrobe material fabric leather 100 percent leather fit great fit it could fit with almost well everything essentially that could be worn with a belt in my wardrobe and it's my style wide belts three inches wide yeah it's my style i rest my case <laughs> And guys, just 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 to show you how much I'm into belts. I'm sure you've seen my belt collection before, but I also couldn't resist this piece. And this again, it had me at the buckle because I had a Dolce and Gabbana piece that was very much similar to this. And I resold it because it was more of a runway piece and I didn't find that I would get enough wear from it on an everyday basis and I I love to wear my pieces to death so I wasn't going to get my cost per wear so I am so happy to have found this piece because look at this bag of guys look to leather it, it's a thin line that I often walk very carefully for me it's important that the leathers 
that items are made from, they are sourced from the meat industry. And I've, I've come across an article in which Zara says that it does source its leather from meat, from the meat industry. So, yeah, kudos to that. Kudos to Zara for doing so. And of course, guys, when it comes to huge leather items, it's very important that you question the brands that produce these leather items because you don't want people to just be wearing animals just for the hides. The man, the fashion industry needs to develop a conscience. But yes, really, really love this piece. I could try it on here for you as well. Another beautiful side of this belt that I just love, it's its versatility. This can be worn on the other side as well. And I'll be wearing it on the other side. I also love the fact that this writing, you could see it. I don't care if you see it. I I just love the way it looks on the black side of well as well. This buckle really, really complements the black side. So it's a versatile piece. So that's key for me because it means I can get my cost per way. So <laughs> love it. And guys, the pieces, I believe most are from the Join Life collection. So that's the sustainable side of Zara. So I often try to gravitate towards buying items from that side because it encourages Zara to be more sustainable. And at the same time, my hope and my wish is that one day Zara would eventually become a sustainable brand fingers crossed guys it's not impossible if you use your spending habits wisely trust me companies would gravitate to being more sustainable the next piece is this great pants this particular item for my birthday which is coming up pretty soon and I love the look of it practice my current mantra so first thing fabric the fabric is again a hundred percent leather which Zara says it's source from the meat industry so I'm okay with that the style is what made me question whether this is the right piece to incorporate into my wardrobe I have many items with this particular style. In my opinion, I felt that this style was too simple. Yeah. There was nothing creative about it except that it's leather. 
and it comes in gray. Yes, gray is my third favorite color, but for that amount of money, and it was $219. Yeah, it wasn't worth it to me. The third thing is the fit. The fit was not as flattering as I wanted a leather pants to be. It's high waisted. Yeah. wanted it to be and it's not as fitted around the waist and the tummy area that I really wanted it to be Next piece that I got at Zara is this jumpsuit so I bought this piece online and when I saw it I really fell in love with it because it is a color from my color palette and it's a gorgeous color. I really really love it. It came with the belt. It's perfect. I love the sleeve. I love the neckline. The deep V is really flattering and this is a piece, it's 100% viscose but the viscose is not very thick and it's very see-through, there's no lining and while I also love a wide leg, you guys know me, wide leg is my thing. However, it was not as long as I wanted it to be, it wasn't sweeping the floor and it was not as flattering. So luckily I tried it in store and I was able to return it at the same time. Yeah, when you're struggling with an item and it doesn't check all the boxes that you have in mind, it's a no. So that's how I personally save money. That's how I determine what enters and ultimately stays in my wardrobe. And this mantra has really served me well. And I know that if you practice it, it would also serve you well in the future. And if you are considering joining the sustainable journey, because it's not something to jump on and off so i would not use the word bandwagon so if you're interested in being more sustainable i find that my current mantra works beautifully for me and so i hope it works for you so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have learned something and remember to always love yourself, accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and gorgeous. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.